CMHC is now forecasting that if the Bank of Canada should increase their overnight rate to 3.5%, that's 1% higher than right now, we will be entering a recession by the end of the year. There will be a 5% total reduction in housing prices and a 34% reduction in sales, which are numbers that I think a lot of people will think are a little low. I think a lot of people are gonna think, 5%, that's it? But there's a lot of really good reason why the worst case scenario isn't as bad as people are going to expect. The definitive guide on how to manage your credit, product, penalty, price, in that order. It's never been more important to get your mortgage right. Okay, so welcome back. BNN Bloomberg is reporting that CMHC is forecasting that should interest rates hit 3.5%, that's 1% higher than right now, that the economy will enter a technical recession by the end of the year. And it already seems like we're headed that direction anyways. But basically what's happened here is CMHC has run two forecasts, one at a lower rate scenario, one at a higher rate scenario, in order to predict what's going to happen in the Canadian real estate market and the economy. But before we get into all the details and I show you exactly what they're predicting, do me that favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification notification bell and please hit that like button so more people like you can see this video. And don't forget, if you want to be one of the most informed borrowers or buyers in the market, we have our secrets to getting the lowest interest rate course at ratesecrets.ca and we have our home buyer bootcamp, which you can get at the link in the description below. Both are on sale right now for 50% off and both will get you at least 10 to 50 times your money back. Whether you are looking to buy or whether you're looking to get a mortgage, it will give you the information that you need in order to be super informed and make sure that you don't get taken advantage. Jeff. All right, so let's get into it. Let's discuss CMHC's forecast here, jump you into the headlines. CMHC sees chance of a recession by the end of the year as rates rise. Now, they have run two forecasts, one at 2.5%, one at 3.5%. The 3.5%, the high rate scenario, is basically the worst case scenario as CMHC sees it right now. The lower rate scenario is probably the one that is less likely. We'll probably end up somewhere in the middle of this, but basically they've run projections at 2.5% and 3.5%. And the projections at 3.5%, well, they basically tell us that the economy is going to end up in a technical recession by the end of the year, and we're going to see a 5% reduction in housing prices and 34% reduction in sales. That's all right here in the article. If you want to go and take a look at it, I'll link in the description below. But here's the gist of it. We've basically found ourselves in this scenario where CMHC is predicting that housing prices are only going to go down by 5%. And everyone's going, well, it seems like they should go down by 20 or 30 or 40%. And really, when you take a look at the scenario in the Canadian housing market, you've now got listings coming off the market. There's another article out today, which I'll discuss in more detail tomorrow, where people are taking their houses off the market as they now realize that they won't be able to sell those houses for as much as they thought they were going to be able to previously. And basically, we've got this scenario where we've still got this limited amount of supply. We've got the rental market going crazy. I'll have that in tomorrow's video as well. And we've got this scenario where even though cost of borrowing is going up substantially. There's still seemingly not enough houses in the preference categories of the people who are buying them in order to support any sort of major downtrend in prices. Now, I want to take you through and show you the actual data and show you the actual report here because I find it quite interesting. Uh, road ahead for the economy and housing. This is on the CMHC blog, which is the Housing Observer. So this isn't an official report, but this is just a summary of some of the testing that they've been doing with in their organization. Now, CMHC obviously is an insurer, so they like to take a look at the worst case scenarios in order to figure out what their risk is because their risk and the amount that the market could go down subsequently has a big effect on the premiums that they have to charge and their financial viability. So this is all from Chief Economist Bob Dugan. And in this article, basically what they're looking at is what high inflation means for the housing outlook going forward and what it looks like for the industry's ability to accelerate housing supply to begin restoring housing affordability in this country. Because here's the catch 22 of what's going on with higher interest rates. Higher interest rates makes it less desirable to build houses because one, if you're predicting that values are gonna go down, you probably don't wanna build houses. As a developer, that doesn't make a lot of sense. And it also makes the cost to finance the build significantly more expensive, which means you're going to have less building, which means if you have less building, you have less supply. And if you have less supply, you continue to have high prices. Prices. That's kind of where this whole thing is coming from. There's a really interesting graph near the end I'm going to show you that talks about what will happen with respect to building if interest rates hit that high level. But let's start first and foremost with the outlook for GDPs. So gross domestic product here, basically a technical recession is when there's negative gross domestic product growth for two quarters in a row. And as you can see, the light purple line is the moderate interest rate scenario. So this is at two and a half percent. The darker line is the higher interest rate scenario. And in the higher interest rate scenario, you see that the outlook for GDP goes down 
pretty significantly. And then moving into what things would look like for the five-year conventional mortgage rates, in the moderate rate scenario, we see that interest rates kind of come up, they kind of end up around five and a half percent, which is just a little bit higher than where we're at right now. But in the higher rate scenario, they end up near 6%. And in CMHC's modeling, eventually interest rates come back down to about the same level that they would be at if we didn't see interest rates go up as substantially as in the high interest rate model. Now, moving in to the MLS average house price, we can see that this has not a very significant impact on the average house price. And again, the reason for that is quite simply that there is a lack of supply. And that lack of supply, whether you believe that it's there or not, is being modeled into these forecasts. So if you go and this is the one that I find really interesting and that I really wanna point out, this is the total housing starts and the predictions with respect to what would happen in the high interest rate scenario. And this is probably the reason why you don't wanna see a high interest rate scenario because the new housing starts would fall quite drastically. And that is gonna be the biggest problem in Canadian real estate going forward is if we have higher interest rates or they go up significantly higher, the incentive to build goes down and we continue to have higher prices, but we have high borrowing costs that go along with it. Now, here's the thing. Everything CMHC reports here is based on risk modeling. So their modeling is going to be less rosy than everybody else's. But if you have an organization that has a tendency to have less rosy modeling, think back to the forecast in early 2020 at the beginning of the pandemic where CMHC said housing prices should go down by 20%. Boy, were they wrong. Well, if this ends up being our worst case scenario modeling and our worst case scenario forecasting, then it means for the most part, most people are probably going to be okay with respect to not losing a significant amount of equity in their houses. Now, obviously, there's certain markets where we've already seen this happen, but across the country as a whole, the good news scenario is even with a significantly higher interest rate than what we have right now, people should be okay. And here's the thing. People are sitting there going, you know, I'm screwed, higher interest rates, this is all bad, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, pretty much everybody has been qualifying at 5% or 5.25% for the last five, six years. And at the end of the day here, people can afford the houses that they have bought. They can afford the mortgages that they have because they have qualified at those higher rates. Now, it may mean that you have a significantly different lifestyle. You may not be eating steak every single night. You may not be drinking that high-end wine. Things might have to change lifestyle wise, but for the most part, if you get rid of the non-necessities, even with higher interest rates, you can afford the mortgage that you got. So I don't think everything is going bad. I don't think everything's going to hell in a handbasket. I find this modeling that CMHC has put out really, really interesting. Again, they tend to err on the negative side of the equation. So if they're predicting a 5% decline in housing prices, well, that probably means that we're probably gonna be somewhere flat or just a little bit down. And hopefully we don't see the big crash that many are predicting. So if you found this video useful, do me that favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Please hit that like button so more people like you can see this video and we'll see you on the very next one. Cheers.